Hi, this is John from APS Customer Service, and I'm going to show you how to build a laser dolly today. So here's your dolly kit. Why don't we open it up and check it out? And there it is, everything you need. Nice little package, your wheels, your parts box. You've got your parts list and instructions and your tubular sections. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got everything out of the box and everything's laid out. Uh, made sure everything matched the parts list. So we've got our sling, our sling brackets, our elbow bracket, our T bracket, our axle brackets, our bow fitting, and our V support. We've got our side stanchions and our bow stanchion, some axle tubes, a handle tube, and we've got our square tubes for the body, along with the wheels. We've got our fasteners. There's really only two size fasteners in here. And all we need to put this whole thing together is a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so we're gonna start with the back section of the dolly. This is gonna be two of the axle brackets. We've got our axle tube and our side stanchions, our axles. So here we go, we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna take an axle bracket just make sure the label is facing up when you do this. So I've put them on a lot and the label ends up upside down. It doesn't matter functionally, but it looks kind of nicer. I'm just going to have to push that in. And we're going to take an upright. We're going to do this. Just push that in. And these you can put on after that. I usually put them in before in case it's a tight fit. So we'll just do that. And then this is going to go on like this. We'll just secure that. And you'll notice that the holes on this side are round. There's nothing to them. They're going to accept a screw. However, on this side, they're molded into a lock nut shape. So that makes it easy to take your Phillips head screwdriver, hold it in place, your Phillips head, and Essentially, just hold it in place and go ahead and screw it in like this. And we're just going to do that for each one. So what's easy to do is just to get them all in at once. Let's drop them all in. Sometimes you might have to jiggle this to line the holes up inside. You'll notice that there are two shorter screws. And those are for these two right here. It's a little shorter so it doesn't protrude out because this distance down here is not as wide as that. So that's a nice little thing so you don't have something sticking out, grabbing uh, neoprene boots or something like that. So we're going to put these on. Just finger tighten those. And we're just essentially going to screw them all down with the Phillips head. Now you can use a power drill if you want. Um, that's going to definitely be quicker. Just use you know, a battery powered one and keep the torque strength loose on it so you don't strip these out because it is just plastic. So what you have now is you've got your, your wheel shaft, your upright, your axle tube, and that's one side. Okay, so the next thing we do uh, after this is assembled on both sides is we're going to take the sling bracket. This basically is just going to come around this like that, and you'll notice it has a securing area for a piece of line to go over the boat back here. Just make sure that's facing outward. You can see that. So we're going to leave that kind of like this, take our sling. And you just want to make sure that the rough side, the stitching is down. Just kind of flatten that out. And we're going to put it in between these two halves. Just kind of like that. And like this. And then the same thing's going to go for the screws.
we're going to tighten these finger tight and I'm going to turn this over because I get a better angle as a righty there. So we're going to tighten this one up. Just tighten the bottom one and one thing you don't want to do is pinch this. You want to make sure that that's able to move in there and that's good. So we're going to do the second one. We'll just bear down on this so it doesn't open. All right, so that's good. And we're simply just going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so there you have your back end assembly. And this is going to be the rear center line tube. So we've got a hole here that's going to receive a snap piece to hold it in place. And then down here, we've got two holes and we are going to attach the T-bracket to. So this is symmetrical. It doesn't matter which way you put it, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just lay this in here. Two holes. We'll use these two outside holes. And we're just going to take two screws just like before. Line these up. Get that in. Take two nuts. Okay. And that's it for the, the inside center tube. So now we'll go on and uh, we'll do the front center line tube. Okay, so here's the forward center line tube. So we got a few more parts going on with this one. And first we're going to start with this piece. This is going to be the bow stanchion. We're going to attach this to the forward center line tube. And we're going to do that with this elbow bracket. Now this you just want to make sure that you put on the long one. There's a thick section and a thin section. This is the part that's going to be hitting the ground. You want that nice thick section. So we're going to put this here. And we're going to put this here. And again, label doesn't matter. Put it whichever way you want to put it. We'll put it that way. Okay, we're just going to put this on. And we're going to take our screws. Put four in. Okay, next is going to be the bow support. This is going to just go on as two halves. Again, just making sure the support faces where the boat's going to be. I'm sure no one will mess that up. It's going to take two screws and two nuts. So that's on, and then you've got a handle bracket. 
or me, a handle tube and two handles. So these are simply going to go on here, slide one on. Just kind of come through the tube. Now if you ever run into a problem where you've put this on and it's stopping right there, it means that the plastic inside may not be lined up. Just back the screws out a little bit so there's playroom in it. Slide it on and just slide this one on. And then to protect under the bow, there's a cushion cap. Just going to pop this guy on here. All right, and then the bow will rest nicely on this nice soft surface instead of the hard surface. Okay, and last we're going to put on this V-bracket. This just protects the boat when you're sliding it on and off so it doesn't bang down on the aluminum. Basically, it's got an open end. You can put it on the front tube or the aft tube. Uh, we're going to put it on the front tube today. So just kind of spread it open. Just work it on there. And it's the same thing. The Screw and nut. Phillips head screwdriver only required. Okay, and that's our third section. That's complete. Okay, so everything's together, and if you're traveling, just leave it at this, and you can put it anywhere you want trunk, back seat, and now we're going to show you how to do the final step when you're ready to use it. Okay, so we've got our three component pieces and our two wheels. We'll put this together. So we'll start with this center line tube. And you can see there's a hex head nut, excuse me, bolt, and a wing nut. This is because you're going to be taking this on and off if you're traveling a lot, so you don't even need the Phillips head for this. So take this, you know, line these two holes up, just like that. Put your hex head bolt back in. And again, it's got that shaped cavity. Take your wing nut. Just tighten that up. Same on this side. So next we're going to put the wheel assembly on. So we've got the push button, Let's push that down and slide it on. Now we've got this, I think it's some kind of a safety screw, but we're going to just screw this up into the other side of that push button and essentially it locks the push button into place. Okay, and the last piece, just going to take this, slide it into this piece, again push buttons, let's go ahead and lock that into place. And there it is, ready to go.